Hello guys, Joan here. This is the fourth video of the SoundKeys um, series. Remember that if this is the first time or your first contact to SoundKeys, I recommend you to watch video one, video two, and video three of this series because they are all related to this one. And if you want to really understand what's happening with this video, you should watch the other ones before. Because in this video, we're going to be controlling in addition to the opacity, the scale, and some effects that we added to the text. We are going to be controlling the position on the X and Y axis of the text just through sound keys. Okay. First thing is select the layer, open the position attribute, and I'll click on the stopwatch to open once again the expression option. Okay. We go to sound keys now, and we are going to select the third output that goes from 0 to 400. So now, now automatically we have the text that has been relocated. It's randomly moving on the screen. The problem now is basically that position attribute works in two different values, X and Y, and we are only getting one straight value from sound keys. So what we have to do is we go to the expression and you see that at the end it says temp and temp. The first temp stands for the X and the second one for the Y. So if I introduce a value over there, 400 in this case, the X value will be always 400. If you want to lower it down, add a plus value to the Y's, in this case 300, so it will modify in 300 units, okay? So now we are basically controlling the position through sound keys. Okay, it's moving up and down based on the different values the sound keys has. So I hope you found this interesting. In the next video, we're going to be working with sound keys and particular, which is a plugin for After Effects from Trapcode that works on particles and generates particles and particles. And it's very cool. So I hope that so far you are enjoying this series of uh, quick tutorials and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.